Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru. Late at night again because of these these drattable time zones. And uh, I thought I'd do a, a quick uh, look at some of uh, the issues related to voice in Second Life because so much now is done with voice rather than just text. So let's drop straight in there. And here we are. And there is a meeting here. You can see me, my back is to us. And if I turn up the volume. So I've been thinking about creating a series of uh, language videos in dialogue forms in these authentic settings where we learn how are you. So it's best if you use a headset so you don't get echoes and feedback. So a headset and a microphone. Um, let me just uh, move up a bit here so you can see the avatars. It's a nice turn out here. It's at a place called uh, Learn for Life, uh, owned by uh, Leon. And uh, but let me tell you a few things about voice quickly before uh, we run out of time before I even start. Um, it's good to check that you've got voice working. So you go up to me, you go up to preferences up in the top left hand corner, and this dialog box comes up, which is uh, really um, uh, the, the, the big one. It's got volumes here for uh, uh, master volume. It's got for when you click buttons, for ambient sound, for sound effects. If you're near water and water is drowning out your volume, come and mute your water here, which you can do. Um, do you want media to autoplay? Um, if somebody set it up, yes or no. Um, where do you listen from? Do you listen from where your camera is or do you listen from where your avatar is? That's personal. Most people I know use their, their camera position. Um, let me have a look. What else should there be? Okay, I think there is somewhere else. Let's just have a look uh, here. General. Um, <laughs> I nearly missed out the obvious, which is uh, voice chat enable voice chat so make sure it's uh, clicked here so we got to that by uh, we close that again by going up to the left hand corner me uh, preferences and then sound and media make sure that's enabled there's another way of getting to this uh, particular window if we go up to the right hand side there's a loudspeaker there and there's a main, there's a volume up and down and if we click if we um, hover over the that, that you can see this comes up and uh, we get this stream th this window again so that's another way of it coming up um, the other thing I want to address is let me see if they're still speaking okay we can see quite uh, easily there that, that Mark is the one that's talking he's got his green uh, antenna radio waves coming out but sometimes it's not easy to see who is actually talking you look around in a crowded area and you can't see who it is um, the other thing is that um, sometimes you want to turn up the volume of individual avatars and you can do that in several ways one is you can go to an avatar and when you hover over it you see their name comes up you click on the eye and then their volume you can adjust their volume um, individually and actually if you mute them it grays out their avatar can you see that so you know that person's muted I better unmute them and the other way is oops and the other way is down here speak if I clicked on there I would actually be able to speak and use my microphone and people would hear me <gasps> ah, I'm running out of time um, but if I click on this one here you can see it gives a list of all the avatars that are here and it shows the one that's actually speaking here. In fact, there are two people speaking. There's Mark. Now, if his volume was a bit low for me, then um, I would click on the eye, and you can see there's a, a slider here, so you can increase the volume of individual avatars that way. And that's it. A few of the, the little tricks with, uh, let me see if we can still hear them, with voice. Is any better now? <laughs> and that's ironic that there's uh, there's some problems with uh, with voice with okay. with some with some so people okay i hope uh, i hope that's useful to you have fun